Alrighty. Working girl. I know. Yes, <laughs> doing it all, all on my own. You know all about that. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. I, which I actually, I love that. That's like kind of like something as an artist, I kind of always aspire to be able to do everything on my own because it's like, I don't know, you have a vision and sometimes the best person to be able to execute it is yourself. Is that kind of why you feel like you, you did that or was it out of necessity? Well, I, I would say that as much as I love my team, you know, we're all a bunch of artists mm -hmm. and I, I, I had a bit of experience of, of, you know, working for a record label. So I know all about like tightening the belt and, you know, just making sure everything's uh, going according to plan. So that's kind of organizing it. But also at the same time, uh, there's loads of stuff that I need to approve because I'm mm. usually quite not um, confident. Mm. So like I would easily become not confident if I see something that is not nice and I wouldn't feel okay because it's like loads of pressure. So that's why I like being there. But at the same time, like I think it's a normal thing. You know, this yeah. is the whole performance is unfortunately revolving around me yeah. so in a way <laughs> not unfortunately we love that that's that's why we love it uh, so <laughs> basically I kind of like it makes sense for me to be involved and kind of help out you know like I, I think I'm not like this huge star that can just paint my nails <laughs> and just come and perform I yeah. need to work for yeah. it so how did your rehearsals go? Are you happy with things? Were there any issues that need ironing out? There's always issues. Yeah. Um, there's always issues and there always will be issues. Um, especially us who have lo lots of moving parts in the performance. There's, yeah. there's high technology in each and every section. Uh, we have like uh, the flower bed, which also has a light inside of it. Mm. Then we have the interactive LED screens. Then we have the interactive cables, pyrotechnics, uh, fashion, technology, dance, um, choreo, like everything. So it, it's really, you only got one chance. Yeah. So you have to, everything has to be perfect. So it can't be really. but. Yeah. I'm proud of us trying. One, on one of the rehearsals, one of my dancers got stuck on a cable and like before we needed oh to really rush, yeah. I saw him struggling and I literally ran and like mm. unleashed him and then we started <laughs> running towards the stage. It was like the biggest game move that mm. I've ever done in my life. And, um, and But I love it. It's just... Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's it's torture, but it's good torture. And and that type of stuff is important because God forbid that happens on the night. Now you know you're used. You you know what to do in that moment. Uh, in yeah, a way. Strangely, I am not bothered if anything if there's a mishap on the on the big night. Um, we re, we're, if I was sitting at home, as I said, and painting my nails, mm -hmm. and something went wrong, I would be devastated. But me being so included in everything and all of my team working really hard and if something bad happens um, I'll know that I've done everything that I could yeah. so in that kind of way I don't really care yeah. I mean it's not embarrassing to make mistakes no. in front of the world no, it's, not. it's not it's not we're human can you talk about the differences from your state like we side by side photo the differences between national selection Eurovision because it's it's got the essence of it but it looks like it was fine-tuned what kind of stuff were was important to you know focus on yeah I didn't want to change much because um, it, um, I didn't have loads of time to do it actually yeah. but um, also we when we started creating the national final performance we were thinking of Eurovision in our minds so we we just didn't go and sing and then all of a sudden is this big thing but all of the things that were a part of um, the Serbian national final uh, performance were elevated. The, the LED screen, the interactiveness of it, the outfits, the choreo, the, um, well, the, the, the flower bed, yeah. definitely. Like, I we mean, worked iconic. on that. Yeah, we worked on that a lot. Um, my hair is maybe better. I don't know. It, I mean, it always looks good to me. But. Hopefully better <laughs> vocals as well, upgraded, yeah. It always was good to me. <laughs> Um, I also just want to ask, are you an anime fan or is it mostly video game references? Because when I watch that performance, immediately I'm an anime fan, I'm not so much a video game Which person. Which one do you like? Um, well, for your performance, it was giving me Neon Genesis. Oh, and, thank you. And like, 100%. So. I love that. That's one of my favorites. So I got so excited, and that, like I showed it to my sister, who knows nothing about Eurovision, and 
that's her favorite anime, and she was obsessed with your performance. Oh, thank you. I, I would really... Um, I think anime fans and video game well, not all of the video game fans, I have to say, but like anime fans <laughs> are subsector. something that some people usually, like that's my experience, whoever I met, they're the most heartwarming people ever, yeah. especially the Ghibli fans, because yes. like obviously those films give you, I don't know, just such a heartwarming homey feeling. Yeah. My main inspiration in regards to animates in my performance was Chainsaw Man. Okay, yeah. So, so and especially the big, big boss demon fight that they had on the mm. street, um, where all of them are like in their suits and ties, and kind of that was the my main kind of inspiration. I wanted to look like Denji from from mm. Chainsaw Man. Um, but yeah, I'm a big anime fan. Um, not I did, I'm not a, as big of a fan to watch, for example, One Piece. Oh my god! Um, yeah. Till the yeah. thousand and something episodes. I don't have the, the brain for that, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have the patience. Have you ever seen Yu Yu Hakusho at all? Ever uh, heard of it? No, 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 no. I have a Yu Yu Hakusho tattoo. That's why I asked. But oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> wow! Oh, I didn't even notice you had so many tattoos. I know. I probably was covered up, but <laughs> <laughs> well. It was amazing speaking to you, as you. usual. I'm wishing you luck. I I brought my Serbian flag with me. I brought my lobster. I will be in the Euro Village, and I'll be in this. I'll be at one of the shows. I'll be at the show, waving all of that. Thank for you. you so much, Maxi, for all of your support. I I swear, like it's really heartwarming. Thank you. Oh, no, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you for just being amazing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, well, this is Luke Black. I'm Maxi Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Yes, I do the...